shut your mouth and get in the goddamn truck, boy. Ugh, put the hockey strap on. There's no time to explain, all right? We got a load of firewood. Now, we have received some information from the town. A fellow by the name of Rick Hewitt. Cheers to Rick. Um, that a snowplow driver can get up to $100 an hour. Hell yes. And the mighty Miles Brush. He says you, about two to three grand would be a fair price for a town like that. Well, we're going to make that. We're going to take that offer in this, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do some more firewood first. We got a load here. I was doing some testing, and yes! You can get better um, logs, um, better firewood from rounder logs. So that question is answered. All right. Now just sit down and shut up while we go and deliver this all right, to uh, Bell in Town. Here. So you can see we're loaded up this time. And you can see those rounds make much, much better firewood. Now, I did these... Uh, this one is a big one. I just cut down a tree in the woods and then uh, loaded it in. And yeah, it's, uh, it's much better. So we're going to go get the cash for this and uh, then we're going to drop those trees cut some more firewood do another load and then we're going snow plowing at the end of this episode ladies and gentlemen I think I think we'll see it'll be this episode or the next one we'll just see how we're going for time but yes definitely the fire de uh, firewood delivery service is up and going look at us go let's get a uh, thumbnail here's a good thumbnail that is that a good thumbnail? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that. Not with the tree in the way though. Um, let's get in the deep snow. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Thumbnail out of the way. Done and dusted. Let's get moving. People are cold in town. They need the firewood. So I'm guessing we're going to get about two grand for this load. And you know what? Now I've done it in a way with that ramp now that was a good decision we made last episode um, much easier much easier to load big logs uh, so yeah you'll see that in a minute now let's get moving okay now there's a farmstead down the road um, just from the just down the road from the boys in the Cheech and Chong Bong shop alright so that's where we're going first, ladies. Straight off the bat, we are off, ladies and gentlemen. And what song am I going to sing to you today on the way through? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, done Cowboys from Hell. Done Whiplash. But, uh, hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But uh, maybe something from Pantera. Or maybe Zach Wilde. The concrete jungle, it's the will of the damned. Once you step inside, then you'll understand. The concrete jungle, something, something there. Rolling six feet under rolling. Rolling six feet under rolling. Rolling six feet under roll and keep on rolling. No one gets out. Get ready to die once I get... Okay, that's enough of that. You get the idea anyway. Alright. I've scared me dogs again. That's alright. Let's see now here. These guys have got a wood burner out the back. And uh, we're going to see if we can drop it off. And what we can get. Yeah, so I'm going to guess about two grand. Alright. Here's their driveway. So, the idea, I think, is instead of doing the whole town, the whole map snow plown, we're going to come in and just clear people's driveways and do the whole town's driveways. And we're going to walk away with probably three grand, I would say, with that. But what we could do also... Now, how do we do this? It says we can just dump it there. Do we have to... Uh-oh. Do we have to hand load it? 
Okay, there must be a way to sell it. Hmm. Should have checked this before. <laughs> Um, how do I, maybe it's in here, is it? No. Um, might be under the snow. We're going to take this log. Ha! Is there another thing I'm missing somewhere? We may not be able to sell it here. I might have to look that when we're not recording. <laughs> Alright. We'll just go deliver it to another place in town. We know that they've got these wood burners anyway, so... That could be another mission. Yeah, we'll clear the snow to it. Earn some money. Ugh, come on! See how we go. Alright. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're heading to town then. All right. Oh shit. Hopefully we're recording properly, are we? Every yeah, everything seems to be in order. Everything seems to be in order. Um, I am stupid, so could anything could happen. All right. Let's get down here now. We delivered to uh, was it Rick last time? Oh, no, it was Chris. Sorry, we delivered to Chris, and he's got an offer for us to get that firewood truck going. Now, I might do that in a bonus episode, maybe. Sort of like a vice grip garage thing or something, but I don't think I could fill in the whole time to do it. That's That would be the problem. All right, let's unload this firewood for him. Boom. Three grand! Holy shit, we're in the money, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the money. Miles... This is all thanks to you. All right. Legend. Legend. All right. Let's drive through the ditch. Get back. And I guess we should probably come and clear the snow first. All right. Now, another way I could do it is... Let's say... Yeah, from this border here at the stop... Oh, shit! You goddamn idiot! Here, get away from that! <laughs> Breathe that in deep, fuckface! That is your doom! Now, as I was saying, um. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Let's do this, alright? If we clear the whole highway, alright? The whole highway, we will say that is... We will go in real time. Actually. We'll go in real time and we'll say... 100 bucks an hour? Or should it be more? Hmm. Because it would probably take us a full episode in that alone. And I don't know if that would be any entertaining for you guys. But we'll do the town. And we'll say if we clear the whole town... That's three grand. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Well, you don't have a goddamn choice. That's what's gonna... Goddamn happen, right? So just... That's what's gonna happen. But thank you very much, guys, for the uh, information. And cheers for all the awesome comments. You guys are actual legends, eh? Hey? Very much appreciated, guys. Very much. I know I carry on a bit, but... Touches the old heart and the groin. If we're not looking. <laughs> now, uh, let's get up this hill. Now, my throat is stripped out pretty hard. I just recorded an episode of. Um, I did a Skyrim one. Uh, the second episode of Reginald, and the recording fucked up for it. And I was going off in it, man. I was, like, hitting people with swords and screaming and carrying on. So, but, yeah. I know that's not going to be a very popular one, but 
it's just fun because I love that game. So, um, and it gives me a chance to <laughs> really put it on and uh, be an idiot. So, with Reginald Skeeterhist. That's right. Put on some voices and just be a general idiot. So, uh, yeah. If you haven't seen the thing, which actually no one has seen it, so go and bloody watch it. You know? if, even if Skyrim's not your thing, I try to be as much of a fool as I can. You know? um, Alright, let's get up here. Now, I don't think... Oh, yeah, now, I'm not going to bother doing this road until maybe on the way back. The snow might be high enough then, but... Yeah. We really should go and get the international going. Now I'm second-guessing what we should do. Hmm. Hmm. Because I would like to do a revive and drive. But I don't know how that would work. You can see I loaded that big round onto it there, and it works perfectly. So, hmm, because we can get that firewood truck for free, but we've got to get it going. Hmm. No. Oh. No, not this episode. Money, 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 we need money. Although that fire truck could get us more money, because we could load it up more. Hmm, the indecision is real. ADHD is kicking in hard, my god. Alright. Now, uh, shut that off. But the thing is, it's going to cost us a lot of money to get that thing going, because it's going to need a lot of parts. So, yeah. No, we have to keep doing firewood for now. And maybe if we, uh, we do the town with the tractor, then we can do that. Alright. Let's drop these trees, ladies and gentlemen. All right. You ready? Oh, actually. Uh, come on. Roll play. Roll play. Grab the chainsaw. There we go. <laughs> Let's get chopping. All right. Timber! Boom. Oh, shit. Look out. Imagine if... Cutting limbs was actually this easy. Oh, man. Now, that's something I want to talk to you about. A lot. I've got some Canadian brothers up there, obviously. Uh, Rick and Miles, I believe you guys are both Canadians. I love Canadians, mate. I wanted to move there, I've, as I've said before. However, um, here in Australia, right, you guys may be able to handle the cold awesome, but listen... You got nothing on us Aussies with firewood, all right? If you if you haven't seen it, um, the people who like, you know, the bloody uh, uh oh. If you haven't seen it, go and have a look at someone splitting um, eucalyptus, our hardwood over here, which is what I use for firewood. It's what everyone uses for firewood here in Australia. It's some actually hard shit. And when I watch, like, James Aloff or, like, any um, homestead thing splitting timber over there in the far north, I'm like, man, you guys have it so easy with firewood. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> like, <laughs> pine is like a, a dream, an actual dream. But yeah, our, our firewood is the best in the world, no doubt. But it is a absolute effort to split um, a decent sized round. So if you, ha if you haven't seen it, go and have a look. I'm sure you'll find it on YouTube. Uh, splitting eucalyptus. <laughs> and prepare your ass because it's going to need to be lubed up when you see it. You won't believe it. And I'm seeing, I'm talking like... Big muscle-bound freaks. There's that log I tested. Um, and I did it legit. Don't worry. Um, I just did it over there because I didn't want uh, these to be in the way. So, and we will pick that one up, but I want to do these ones first because I said I would. Now, as I was saying. Um, did we mark this one? No, this one. 
Um, what was I saying? Yeah, go and watch. Splitting eucalyptus. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Oh, shit. Get my big beer belly out and split some firewood. You've seen, like, those sexy bloody idiots with their um, shirts off splitting wood and shit for the ladies. You know? The ladies get all moist about it. Well! You should see my fucking belly, right? Talk about getting the ladies moist. God damn. Just jiggling beer belly. Big tits. Tattoos. Hell yeah. Alright. Maybe I should do some splitting content. Eh? With me shirt off. <laughs> Trust me, no one wants to see that. Alright. Boom. Now I am going to get rid of this one. I didn't mark it, but I want to. Boom. Get you gone. Now I didn't think this through at all. I'm just cutting because I can. So if this turns out to be a shit show, then uh, I'll just blame you subbies. All right. Boom. Now, the idea behind this is we get the tractor in the middle. Alright. Get the tractor in the middle here. Oop, and we've got to cut this. Uh, trim this, sorry. Alright, man, my brain is, you know, spazzing out. We might have to push this one over a bit. Um, yeah, if we push this one over, we'll be able to get up the center. And then I'll be able to turn in, hard, grab, pull out. That's the idea, anyway. And trust me, I know all about pulling out. Alright, so you just calm down! <coughs> Pardon you. Man, I'm thirsty. I need a beer. Alright. Let's get this up. Raw. Oh. Now, I did read uh, Miles' comment, too, that I'm like a long-lost cousin. <laughs> I think just all of us redneck blokes are the same, no matter where you go, eh? Hey? Um, we're up for a good time and having a laugh. We don't take life too seriously, all right? And I think that's... Uh-oh. And I think that's why we would all definitely get along. I might have to bring the uh, tractor in here and clear this snow. What's this log doing? Oh damn! Calm down, boy! Holy shit, what's it doing? Hey! Hey! Calm down! Sir, calm down! Calm down! What the f... Oh, hang on, I'm gonna have to cheat. It's gonna... Well, I don't know what the hell that was, but we've got a log cut now, so let's... push you back. Bring you forward. Yeah, I'll bring the thing in and clear this snow. It's too much of a pain in the ass. Go, grab, pull, bend, twist. All right, check this out. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! <laughs> now, the first one I put in there, I did miss the thing. So let's see if I can get this. Yes. Straight up. Whoop, whoop back. There we go. Done. Look at that. And that's how it's going to be done, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Oop, and that snow just went up another level. Alright. Oops, wrong vehicle. Start the engine. 
Let's get splitting. Let's do this view. What do you reckon? How's that? Beautiful. Oh. Oh, wrong button. That's what I want. Oh, now let's do this. Instead of two, let's go... Six. That's how we're going to do it. All right. Push that one through. Um, why are you... Oh, there we go. Wrong button. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, perfect. Let's go. Ah! Oh, let's make that longer. Oh, that's as long as it goes. Okay. Bang. Why does that look so sh short? Oh, okay, now it's there. Do this angle, because it's confusing me. And that's easy to do, because I'm stupid. Bang. Um, bang. There we go, we got the rhythm back. Oh shit, truck's getting full. Ugh. Oh god! Stop! Oh, turn the cheat off. Um, how do I do that again? There we go. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Alright. Let's... Get this moved forward a bit. We'll back it up so it pushes it. Doesn't smash our back window, hopefully. Boom. Oh, shit. That nearly went through the window. All right. We can fit a couple more pieces in there. Easy. All right. Here they are here. Get in there. Alright. We can do it. What? A couple more pieces. Let's go. Um, bang. And then one more. Bang. We are cooking with uh, gas now, ladies and gentlemen. I was about to say oil. <laughs> we are cooking with gas now. Alright, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get this straight down. We're making money now. Hell yes. Firewood was a good idea, Miles. You legend. Alright. Let's go. I left that motor running too. Shit. It's a waste of diesel. That's alright. We'll be back. And I think, yeah, after this load... Um... Which, if we get another three grand, man... Hell yeah. Um... After this load... Go snow plow, I believe. Do a little bit of that. See if we can't clear the town and get about three grand. Hell yeah. And it shouldn't take that long. Hopefully. And I think that'd be a fair assessment. Wouldn't wouldn't you agree? Huh? Wouldn't you? Yeah, now. I'm trying not to yell so much in this episode, but it's not really working out. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I stripped my throat out hard playing Skyrim, carrying on. Man. And I literally just finished recording it and the whole thing. I did uh, over an hour and a half. <laughs> and the whole thing was a complete waste. So, the OBS froze and shut my computer down and just having the old dramas with it that I used to have and I think it's got something to do with a memory issue so like with my computer it can't handle the can't handle all the pleasure right. so that reminds me I've got to keep going to and from and making sure that it's actually working so if you hear the sound cut out like that that's just me checking that OBS is working God damn. Now, I know I'm all over the place. I am le legitimately ADHD, unmedicated. So, <laughs> um, had it 
obviously all my life. Um, I used to be medicated as a kid. I was on the old Ritalin. Big time. Man, I was a handful. Trust me. Yeah, I got expelled from uh, one school. I was in constant trouble at another. Uh, I was just a little fucking dickhead, to be quite honest. And then I grew up, and now I'm a man! Look at me. God damn, I'm sexy. Alright, um... Yeah. That's legit, so... Look at this firewood, man. And that's what I've done IRL, too. Uh, I've just been out cutting and splitting wood, and... Um... Sorry, not cutting, splitting, uh, stacking wood this morning. And then it hammered down rain. Right? And I, I did manage to film a little bit. And I'm thinking of doing a day in the life of um, a, a bogan or a week in the life of. We'll just see. I've got some footage there. But uh, whether or not I edit it up and do it, I don't know. You tell me. Would you be interested in seeing that? Would it be worth doing a real life episode of homesteading what do you think ladies and gentlemen now we've done Chris's place we've done Rick's place I think it's your turn Miles this is your place got Miles's place up here All right. here we go now yours is a little bit more tricky to get at let's um, try not to hit your little Mazda or whatever you got there Alright, back it up. Back it up. <clears throat> Here you go, Miles. Bang. Alright. How much are we going to give us? Oh, yeah! Three grand. Cheers, Miles. So, yeah, three grand to load. That's cool, and that's doable. Alright? I like it. The firewood business is up and in motion, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yes! Now, I think I forgot to call you all legends and larrikins this time, and so I'll do it now. Hello, you legends and larrikins. Yes! Got to remember to say that, all right? All right, let's go and get the tractor. Make sure we don't have any more road rage on the way. And then we're going to bring it down and uh, clear that town for another three grand. And that will cover the cost of owning the bloody thing. Look at us go. We're just hammering it down this snowy road. That's safe. Listen to that 12 valve. Revving the guts out. Boom! Just punching through snow drifts like it's nothing. Man. Too awesome. Too awesome. Alright. Let's go down the gear. Get up. Back to the homestead. Now, when this winter does clear, we're going to get some chickens and. We're going to get some animals and diversify, but I really want to put my money into expanding the dope business. We need about, oh, at the end of the day, it's going to be about 50 grand. Um, oh, and that reminds me. I think, Miles, we can't get rid of the Kubota, man, but I'll have to agree with you. Uh on keeping the big or getting a bigger tractor I mean it's just got the HP right it's got the balls that we need yes yes but um we can't sell the Kubota you know, it's it's my little workhorse I'm attached to it like this rig I would never sell this rig right I'm a, a bit of a hoarder in real life like selling a vehicle man it breaks my heart <laughs> like, for example, I've still got my old man's 1981 Honda XL250. 
right? Uh, it does work, but man, it needs some work. And, uh... Yeah, I'll never let that thing go. Right? My old he um Hyundai. <laughs> my old Holden Rodeo. It's my wood truck around the house here, right? It's fucked. <laughs> it's an absolute piece of shit. But I, I just can't let it go. It's done too much work for me. So uh, I get sentimental about machines. I don't know what it is, but I do. Uh, if it's been a loyal rig, I can't just I can't let it go. Unless it's like to a really... This is someone I know who's like... I know we'll give it a good home. Alright, here you go. Let's put this here. Oh. Alright, get out! Ugh. Everyone pile into the tractor. We are going snow plowing, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yes! And we're all agreed. Three grand. Alright, for clearing the town. Just the town. Let's get to it. Now, put the hut on. Um, let's, uh, let's go. Now, I have explained this in past episodes, but uh, if you're watching, I am using an actual gift shifter, so if you can hear the chunk, that this, this noise here, if you hear that, that is me shifting the bloody gears, all right? When you play a simulator, you have to have a steering wheel, like farm sim. It's just, when I first got it, I used to play without it, and man, no way could I live without it now. Uh, no way. Whoop. <sighs> now, I've started the fire for the first time this year in the house. It's not that cold or anything, but I cleaned out the flue and... Um, I'm just giving it a bit of a test burn. So, keeping an eye on it. I might have to duck off for a second to just check on it, but I can sort of see it if I really crane my neck. Ugh. Looks like it's going all right. But yeah, I like the cold, but my missus, me and my missus were at the exact opposite. She loves, like, the beach and the sunshine and hot days. Right? And I'd much rather play in the snow and the cold, man. Ooh, I like the fire. See, and the, I think the real reason behind that is, here in Australia, you cannot have a fire for about four to five months of the year. It's illegal. Um, and, well, for maybe two of those months, you can get away with it if you have special permits and shit, but... I love a good campfire, alright? I love the fire going in the house. I love cutting and splitting wood. Makes me feel like a man. Hell yeah, get that test that testosterone pumping. My balls just throbbing. Oh, yes. As I split that fucking hardwood like it owes me money. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. And then throwing it on and... There's no better satisfaction, I can tell you, than watching your family sit around the, uh, the wood stove, keeping warm as they watch telly and that warming glow of the fire and the smell, the smoke, ash and dust. Man, I love winter. Right. Autumn's my favourite time of year, but I love winter. I wish I lived where it snowed like this, I really do. I reckon I would handle that fine. Um, and so perhaps I am your long lost cousin, Miles. <laughs> I'm a shit Australian, that's for sure. I'm not a very good Aussie. I'm a big sook when it comes to uh, heat. My missus is always um, having to listen to me complain when it's summer. Fuck. I hate it. But now it's disappearing, thank God, for another year. Alright, let's get... Whoa, we nearly took that car out, but we're alright. Let's shift down the gear. Alright, we're going, we're going. Look at us go.
Beautiful. All right, we're going to hold up traffic. All right, flip them off. Subbies, hang out the window and flip that guy off. Good work, good work. Yeah. Let's keep on rolling. Not going to worry about this snow here. Just going to do the town. And as I was saying, what I'll do, you know what? I'll even double it. Um, see the real time up there. If we do the highway, but yeah, it'll be too boring to watch. I don't think you guys would like to see it. If you would, if you wouldn't mind it, you let me know. But it would probably take a full episode to do this whole map, maybe even longer. But. Uh, yeah, you know, we could walk away with a bit of money. Because if it's about a hundred bucks an hour in an hour episode, that's it's not worth our time. But if we if we can all come up with a scheme that would work, all right, then we'll do that. I mean, this bit here really needs a really needs a dusting. <laughs> that guy thought he was going to overtake me. <laughs> oh, I should pull over. Okay, I'll be a good bogan here. Off you go, guys. In real life, you know, I'm not like this at all. I, uh, I'll definitely pull over. And let people pass. YouTube allows me to be a bit of a cunt, so... That's what I'm going to be. <laughs> In game in-game. Alright. We are nearly at the boundaries of the town. We're going to get started by just doing all the roads. Now, I'm not sure how you guys do this over there, but I got I kind of got a theory of how it would be done. So let's say if we start here, right? And then any driveway you come across, you obviously would turn in You would turn in, do the driveway, then leave via the same way you came in. If that makes sense. Why are we stopped? There we go. So say here, right, if you had to do this business, in my mind what you'd do is you'd turn in and then you would do this whole place Right, we're not going to do the whole place, but we're going to do the Bowsers. Or, or maybe, how does it work over there? Would the, A private business would have to hire their own people to do it, right? It wouldn't be like the city's job or something. How does it work over there? You tell me. Let me know. Um... Okay, so this is how I imagine this going. So we do that, and then we would turn, right? And I think, yep, turn the wrong way. There we go. Do these bowsers. And I know, yeah, you guys would n normally do it with uh, actual plow, like a disc thing, hey. Eh? But in this game, it's just too much of a fuck around. So this way is just, we'll just pretend that that's how we're doing it, right? And what is it? jumping like that. What's going on here? Why can't I, like, lift the... I think something's fucky. I should be able to lift that up, so... Don't know what's going on there. Alright. 
Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. So then in my mind, right, so say you've done the inside like that, you've got in and out, then you would leave via the same way you came in. Does that make sense? So say you might clear this out because you don't want the... Um, you don't want to leave the centre. You want to do a half-decent job. All right, let that car go past. And then you go back. I don't know, this is just what I'm imagining. You tell me if I'm wrong. This is how I would do it. If there's a better way, which I'm sure there is, you let me know. Huh? You let me know, you sexy bastard. I'm not sure why it's skipping off the road like that. It's making me nervous. Making me a nervous little Nelly. <laughs> See, now I should have went up that road. Yeah. So it works sort of like a maze, you know, if you keep your hand out. If you keep your hand on the right wall, is it a left wall? You'll, fi you'll always find your way out of a maze. Because that's just how it works. Eventually, you will walk the whole thing, but you will get out. Because if you put your hand on the wall and don't take it off and start walking, the theory is... You uh, will always find the exit. Now, can we get a good screenshot here? Probably not with that asshole in the way. That's a good one in front of the bong shop. There you go, mate. Off you go. Cheers, brother. Good on ya. <laughs> oh, whoa, shit. Now, I know I'm leaving the strip up the middle. Actually, yeah, let's not leave the strip up the middle. It's just a dirt road, this one, so... I'm actually going above and beyond doing the two lanes. To be fair. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. Yeah. What a beautiful view. Actually, that's a good screenshot right there. Let's put the lights on though for a bit of a... bit of an eye catcher. <laughs> Blasting snow onto that guy's roof. We'll probably take a few screenshots here, because... I forgot to do one in the last episode, um, so I had to take one when I was testing out that uh, fallen tree. Just, <laughs> just blasted! Fuck your motors! Nah, those boys are cool. All right. All right. Whoa! What do we hit? Beautiful. I wish this had a bit faster working speed. Honestly. So I'm not sure how this works. I'm sure... Actually, seeing videos, I'm pretty sure the city doesn't clear your driveways for you, does it? But look, I'm Australian, mate. This is what I'd do for you guys. Because I love you Americans. Your American brothers and Canadian brothers. Uh, so there you go. I'll just clear your driveway for you. We've got Chris, Rick, and Miles up the end there. Got to remember. Got to remember. I'm terrible with remembering names, so...
We'll go a little bit past uh, Miles' place. Up to this pole. And then that's the city. That's the town limits. They want it any further than that, they can pay more. Alright. We'll make it neat though. Make it neat. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful. So far, my efforts to not yell as much are uh, failing. Let's definitely clear Miles' place out. Here you go, bud. There you go, mate. You're welcome. Good on ya. Cheers for all the awesome comments you leave. Uh. Then we got Chris's place. Chris has commented too. We'll definitely clear his driveway out for him. Legend. And we've already done Rick's place, so. Now yeah, look at that old international in there. We've got to get that going, but we need money to do that. We could skull drag it up home and do it there, which might be the way to go. Although it would be better to try and bring the trailer down, maybe? Hmm. I'll have to have a think of that one. You let me know what I should do, guys. Another good suggestion for you. How are we going to get that international up to the uh, up to the homestead? We'll do this business for them. Why not? Why not, hey? Just a quick run in here. They can sort the rest out. Just blasting it into their fucking windows. Beautiful. Look at this view. Alright, farmers markets, you're welcome. Even though I've just coated your windows so you can't see. Look at this. Bloody beautiful, mate. Bloody beautiful. All right. <laughs> yes. All right. Now, who are we going to see about getting paid? That's what I want to know. And if you think about it, that probably took about as long to do as doing a load of firewood. So that's a fair three grand, I would say. If you disagree with me, you can go get fucked. Huh? Why am I stuck? Is that karma knocking? Is that you, karma? Boom. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, the township nearly cleared. I'm not going to do any other businesses. They can pay extra if they want it done. I brought the machine all the way down here, hired the machine, so three grand, definitely fair. Alright? That's how it's going to happen. That's how it's done. Should clear out the... I'll clear out the garage for the fire department, boys, because they're legends. A big cheers to anyone who's in the fire department, alright? Love you guys. You know, same with the police. Look... Coppers and laws aren't exactly my favourite thing. I think government um, having a hand has its hand in too much, especially here in Australia. It is absolutely fucked. But uh, you know, for the guys who wear the uniform and are actually out there trying to help people and not screw people over, 
you're the best people, alright? Absolute legends, and I tip my hat to you fellas, and fellettes, alright? Um, especially firefighters, man. Here in Australia, well, everywhere. Firefighters are super important. Absolute legends, alright? So cheers to all our firefighters. Hell yeah, boys and girls. Boom, look at that. We'll clear out this one too for them. Alright. Do the boys a favour. They look after us. We'll look after them. Alright, all the bays. Get them cleared out. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, I have nothing against the people who choose to be police and want to look after people, but the people who are in charge of you can get fucked. Right. Nothing against the cops themselves, but government can suck my cock. The government totally sucks, you motherfucker. The government totally sucks. Ben Franklin was a rebel indeed. He liked to get naked while he smoked on the weed. He was a genius, but if he was here today, the government would fuck him up his righteous, eh? Let me tell you something about the government. They're fucking up the end on Byron Red. They're taking all the fucking beautiful animals and making them fucking extinct. The government totally sucks, you motherfucker. The government totally sucks. The government totally sucks. Cause the land of love and freedom is just a baby's breath away. And if we hold hands together, we can bring back the USA. The USA. The fucking U.S. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring back the U.S. Government totally sucks. <laughs> oh shit, I just shut the engine off. That was something, alright. <laughs> oh dear. Um, what am I doing? Lift this up. Why can't I lift this up? Lift this up. Thank you. Ugh. Now, who do we see about our pay, goddammit? Let's go back here. We'll go see the fiery boys. Yeah, have a beer with them. Ugh. All right. Let's go get a six pack. Of long necks, of course. Do you have long necks over there? I think you call them 40 ounces over there, don't you? Thinking on that. Um, yeah, let's get some bees. Gladys! Hey! Gladys! You in there? Give us some bees for the boys. Hell yeah, brother. Here we go. Let's go have a beer. Get our money! Oh, for god damn. We need some money. Get hit by a car. Alright. Hey, fellas. Hell yeah. You have my money or what? Alright, let's do this. Add money. What do we say? Three grand was our quote. Boom. Three grand. Done. Look at that. We are recovering our money, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's get this mighty rig back up the top. Do another run of firewood. Yes. Now, I'm not sure how much it's going to cost to fix up that international. But, um... Oh. But we'll see. We'll see. Alright. A good job done. 
Let's get back up to the homestead. Hell yeah. Uh, I would smash a beer, but and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but it's a little bit early recording right now. I'm actually being efficient today. I didn't do any writing today, but I did uh, bloody record and stack some firewood and stuff nice and early. So I do feel not so bad for... <laughs> The thing is, it is a shitty day out there. It is blast and wind and rain. Just not a nice day. So why not record a couple of episodes? I did the Skyrim episode and then this episode. So why the hell not? Right. Um. Yeah, we'll head up back. Let's get in first person here. It's a bit quieter. Yeah, I do have to go check that fire in a second. How long have we been going? Oh, shit! That's the episode. Holy crap. Man, that goes quick. God damn. Um, yeah, so we'll get back up the top. We'll end the episode there, and, uh... We'll be back soon, don't worry. Um, try and pump these out a bit quicker. Now that I know that you got some, I got some loyal fellas. Hey, it's starting to grow that community. Hell yeah, brother! Awesome. If you guys are sticking around and you're still enjoying it, I'll try and get these out a bit quicker for you. Fantastic. All right. Yes. Um. Yeah. Keep the comments coming, guys. Love it. Love it. All right. And, uh, yeah, maybe one day, one day we hit that 500, and I'll do a live stream with you guys. I'll try and organize the time, the best fits, but I'll give plenty of warning anyway, because it'd be better if I could do it at night time here, but I know that's super late for you guys. So... But I'll work it out, I'll work it out. We are coming into winter and it's going to be summer over there for you guys, so... Now, how does your holidays work? That's something I've always wanted to know. Um, do you have, like, all summer off? It's because I hear you say guys say, like, summer holidays and it's, like, weeks long or something. That's pretty awesome. See, we're pretty lucky here with our workers' rights. I mean, that is a good thing. We have a Labor government that's was supposed to be all about the working class. Um, back in the day, they certainly were. Now they're all fucking rich wankers, but um, yeah, back in the day, they set up some pretty awesome laws for us. Oh. Come on, old girl, you can do it. Get up there. Hold on. They set up some pretty good laws for us. We got awesome holidays here. So I worked for seven years in a govern de government department. Uh, I worked there for nine years, but after seven years in a government department, right, an education department, I had long service leave, which was an immediate three... Oh, oh sorry, six... I think, no, it was four weeks. Four weeks pay. Um, and you can either take it out in money, which is shit because you get taxed super hard, or you can take it in half time. So you can stretch it out, which is what I did when I left. Um, yeah, but that's just bang, straight away. Seven years, thank you very much. Now, most places are ten, but a government departments are seven years for long service leave, right? And that's bloody cool. And standard, we get four weeks a year paid leave, holiday. And two weeks sick leave. And uh, over here, and I know this is probably... Um, this is probably something that you think would be awesome. Is... And how it sort of works, right? Before I say this. We got a real thing of like... We got a pretty good work ethic, especially the blokes over here. And it, actually the girls too. Not so much the young fellas at the moment, but that's pretty typical. But, like, we got two weeks sick leave, right? A year. 
to use. But by the time I left, I had like 500 hours sick leave because it accrues, right? It gathers up over time. So if you have a big injury or something, you can basically get paid for the weeks if you've got the if you've saved up the time. So if you're loyal and save up your sick leave and you actually get injured, you can use that f- like for months. But the only thing is when you leave the job, you lose it all. You don't get paid out. Of it. Unlike long service, which you get paid out for or you can take. So it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome in that way. I think we got it better over you with that. Um, it's a cool thing. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. How does it work for you guys? I was saying, the four weeks holiday a year standard is awesome. And I, that's what I was going to say. Um, over here, we've got a good work ethic, right? So, basically, you're forced to take that four weeks because I know when I was working as um, I did a little bit of bricky in bricky labouring and I did a little bit I did a five years of um, grounds like I was the head groundsman for one of the largest gardens um, like private gardens in the world and yeah the fellas down there they had to be forced to take their holidays because they love their job and you know it's hang- hanging out with each other is, you know you enjoy that so it's working is, it's not like a holiday you're working hard but you know you enjoy doing it so basically yeah you're forced to take your holidays otherwise you lose them so yeah that's an interesting thing I don't know if you guys have that but anyway something to talk about ramble on a bit Oh shit! Stuck. Man, that tr- this tractor is awesome, but God, it's loud. All right, let's try that again. Oh, there we go. Boom. We read our driveway a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. A little bit more around here. Look at how deep the snow is, man. You Canadians are probably laughing. It's like, that's that's nothing. <laughs> so, legitimately, where I live, the snow would probably be, get that deep and it would only last for a day or two where I live. And it might happen a couple of times a year if you're lucky. We would never have snow like that deep where I am. I know I'm not far away in the Australian Alps here, um, on the high country we call it, which is a few hours south of me. They have more snow than Switzerland. Um, in terms of area and stuff. And there's lots of ski fields and things like that. But uh, Yeah, where I'm at, nah. We'll get a 40 degree summer day, like 40 degrees Celsius, which I don't know what that is in your freedom units. Let's have a look. Um, 40 Celsius to Fahrenheit. So 104 degree day. We'll have, we could have like a week straight of that. Um, but mainly we'd have like in the high 30s, so which would probably be about 100 degrees. So, pretty constant 100 degrees in summer. Um, For probably, you know, a couple of months. Two months. Um, And then, you know, in the high, in the low 30s, so I don't know what that would be for you guys, in the low 30 degrees Celsius. Uh for probably another two months and then now it's starting to drop into the 20s um, and right now it's about 17 degrees out there um, but it's blowing wind and raining real hard so it's pretty nasty all right let's 
clear this here. Boom. Done. Let's go and turn off that whoop, and turn the lights off. Boom. Fantastic. All right. Now I've rabbited on a little bit. I just had to talk about something while we were plowing all that snow. Um. Yeah, look at this. Clearing up out here, eh? Looks good with those trees down. We'll do more. In the next episode, we're going to try and get that... Uh, we're definitely going to get that rig up here, the International. We want that thing up here ASAP. Because we can fit way more firewood into it. Uh, and keep doing our firewood runs for the crew down in the town. And I might set up more around in between these episodes. I might set up more drop-off points all around the map. For the roleplay purposes, if you know what I mean. And we'll go from there. All right! Ladies and gentlemen, that'll do that episode right there. Thank you very much. Keep leaving those awesome comments. I love your supple nipples. Yes! Now, I will see you in the next one, guys. Cheers heaps.